Is that a beam compass? Well, you know, you got your Walking Dead weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, that sharpened bolt is. Uh... Yeah, I kind of twisted to advance it so it, you know, it yeah. fine tune the fit. Yeah, it's a nice simple compass. Yours is pretty nice looking too. I was gonna make one like that, actually, but not dovetail. Yeah, I I, I was thinking of you know I wanted to make one that goes on a square rail because then you could use any piece of scrap. Yeah, but I couldn't think of a good clamping method. And you mentioned like the hell with it, just make a dovetail rail and then the clamping thing is, you know, because all you do, you just need to clamp it this way and and it sticks it on there. And then the idea of having the pencil, I think I got that off of somebody else. I don't remember what, where it came from, but the idea of just clamping the pencil on with the dovetail like that. Yeah. I'm not sure. It, it got inspired by something or other I saw. I don't remember where it came from. But then those two things were it's like, yeah, this will make a really nice compass. And so what about a slot down the middle, like a square piece with a slot down the middle? I, you know, I have yeah. these trammel points from Lee Valley, and they've got this pin that pushes in there, and I cut a slot in there, but it, they're just so hard to set. And uh, once I built this one, it's like, I'm not using the Lee Valley one again, because this, this works so much better. <laughs> uh, because the Lee Valley one, is like, you got to tighten it real good, and then to, if you just need to move it half a millimeter. You're, you're, uh, really you're hating on Lee Valley. So, so with this one, what I like is I can move the pencil, which you can't do on this one. So if, you're, if you want to draw a small circle, say with something like this, you end up having this tail swinging way out and you know, like oh, yeah. here you hit the fence. So on this one, if I need to do a small enough circle, I just move the pencil towards the middle and then I don't have quite as much overhang on the end. Okay, but if I want to make a small circle, I'll use my small one right here. Well, if I need a small enough circle, I actually kind of, embarrassed to admit, I just use a regular compass. Well, that's a regular compass, but it's a better one than the usual one because compact. That's true. It is. Very I mean, nice look how nice way. it is. It's kind of cute. But I've got uh, a drafting compass that I use in my shop, and it opens up about yay wide. So I have one of those, but it broke when I put like something down on it. 